just days to release, hours to release. Uh, what was your state of mind at this point of time during the release of KGF 1, KGF 2 compared to Salar? Very nervous. Um, I, and this is probably the first time, I, this is my fourth movie, but uh, three times before this, I have not liked my movie a week before the release. Right. So this time I am more nervous because I like my movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this supposed to be a good thing or a bad thing? I, <laughs> I was told that, you know, the three times before, yeah. I, I was so nervous that the movie is not going to do well. Yeah. And uh, they said that is probably uh, probably a superstition that uh -huh. I should not like my movie. <laughs> <laughs> because this time I've uh, tried pure drama, sir. Mm. Uh, so drama is, uh, I mean, very few people are gifted with that. You are one of them who has uh, shown drama, you know, just two, three characters that stand out and they are enough mm. to take the movie forward. Mm. And uh, I have tried that with this movie. Of course, I have more characters. Hmm. Uh, other than uh, Prithvi sir and uh, Prabhas sir to do that. Hmm. Just sticking to a story and not deviating from it mm -hmm. to show unnecessary elevations mm -hmm. and uh, or to have a set song mm -hmm. come in somewhere and to try something like that is very new for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought I am not capable of doing something like that though mm -hmm. I told Prabhas sir from day one mm -hmm. uh, when I narrated this story to, to him that uh, I want to try pure drama mm -hmm. and uh, for some reason I did not show that I have pure drama with the trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, I probably failed to show that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. It probably just looked like a bunch of uh, villains and uh, there is this <laughs> one big hero who is going to do that. So this time I am nervous because I like the movie <laughs> <laughs> and this is not an advertisement of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I might be wrong but I, I like yeah. the story that I told uh, Prabhas sir to Prithvi sir to my, all the actors yeah. when I told them that this is the story mm. and that is exactly what has come out mm. and uh, I am nervous because of that. <laughs> <laughs> Drama always works and uh, it works especially with uh, Prabhas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean uh, we always talk about it. His his face itself is like you will see, he does not need to do anything, he just stands there and immediately you feel that uh, emotion pouring out of him. We should uh, tell this to producers, <laughs> <laughs> they do not need to do anything. <laughs> no, um, emotion pouring, not pouring out of him, it, uh, I think the emotion comes out of the, of the audience. Uh, I, I mean I always feel that when he, he just stands there, whether it is angry, whether, he's, whether the character he is playing is angry or doing whatever, people feel for him. Yeah. Uh, he has that. Uh, he's blessed with that uh, face and combined with your dramatic story, I think that it's going to <laughs> work so. extremely well. So definitely and I have Bahubali 3 then. <laughs> 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 so, but I, I feel Prashant sir did extraordinary drama hmm. uh, with uh, especially me and Pradhi sir. Hmm. The whole story is between us hmm. and uh, there's a beautiful drama between me and mother and Shruti Asan. Hmm. So, I think he's very good in drama, even KGF we see, hmm. but this is, the, the whole film is based on a drama. Hmm. He wanted to do a drama, hmm. I think he got inspired from you also, <laughs> because he used to Definitely. talk about you, uh, how Raj Moli is hmm. very good with his drama and uh, yeah. Now, we, we might have uh, a KGF, like you said, KGF and KGF, or KGF 1 and 2. Uh, the elevation scenes are what people talk about, but we know what holds the film together is the is the drama uh, between the mother and son, yeah. and how that relation relationship yeah. helped shape his character and yeah. what he is. Is yeah. like, I think the film held together because of because yeah. of that. Yeah. Yes. Elevations are like I always say that yeah. are uh, cherries on top of the cake, yeah. but yeah. the cake itself is the yeah. drama and KGF. Uh, uh, KGF had a lot of that and and if you felt that was not enough, this is more than yeah. I can expect. Yeah. <coughs> Imagine what kind of a cake that we are <laughs> that we are going to that you are going to serve the audience. And, and when when we like we thought we'll do, I call Rajmoli. Always I call him like oh, Prashant is 
wants to do a film I like don't even think just just do it thank you very much prithvi as an so, actor and as a director you have done uh, uh, movies which are like absolutely dramatic yeah. uh, so when when prashant prashant talks so much about the drama in salar uh, how do you see that uh, is it true that the film has a lot, a lot of drama <laughs> or narration. you think he's he's thinking there's a lot of drama <laughs> or <laughs> good question i keep comparing salar i mm. i've told prashant also this to game of thrones mm. because oh. the drama is like mm. that there are mm. so many characters and plot points mm. and so many intricate character dynamics i don't know how he's going to fit the story in in two parts by the way <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's, that's a, yeah it's a tough <laughs> thing to do i remember the first time we met for the look test in in hyderabad mm. i was actually uh, shooting one of my directorials in hyderabad at that mm. time so after shoot late night 9:30 10 i went to his office and i tried on my outfit and the look and we took a couple of stills and that's the first time he gave me an in person narration of what was then the final draft with prashant there is never a final draft <laughs> so, yeah he's i think given a chance he'll write a scene now and shoot <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so, yeah, okay, yeah. so he it. gave me the narration of what was a final draft then yeah. and uh, he went downstairs to set up the photo shoot and i was having my dinner so i suddenly realized on the wall there was a huge bo- do you remember this on the wall there was a huge board and he had written down each character of khan sir the history of khansar how the political uh, so called consulate of mm-hmm. khansar is set up mm-hmm. what is the relationship between each tribe in khansar mm-hmm. and it's like this huge board filled with diagrams and mm-hmm. names and mm-hmm. arrows and connections and i'm sitting there and thinking and like oh my god like to make this much of a story how mm-hmm. much has this man thought from <coughs> the history of khansar mm-hmm. it is out and out drama mm-hmm. and the greatest thing is the natural dramatic progression of the plot mm. has so much space for action and goosebumps mm. and hero elevation and i can guarantee that mm. there will be no prabhas fan walking out of the theater unhappy that much <laughs> that much <laughs> i will i i absolutely loved the dinosaur uh, <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur <laughs> elevation <laughs> so how do you come up with it without even talking about it there there is i mean you never mentioned uh, uh, the the character never mentions the word dinosaur No, yeah. it's just that way you build up, and that, and people are going crazy with Prabhas, <laughs> dinosaur, Salar, dinosaur, and all that. Yeah. How do you come up with uh, that uh, that kind of elevation scenes? Is like without saying the word. Yeah, dinosaur. without saying the uh, word. That's and, the speciality uh, of Prashant, I think. <laughs> and I <laughs> love the way uh, Tino Anand sir said that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. in that part, the way <laughs> the way he the said way it, Tino sir said, absolutely uh, uh, kickass. I think audience are like, I, I don't know how many elevation scenes you are uh, giving in the movie. Uh, many. For, lot, <laughs> lot, lot. <laughs> for me, I'm I'm going to go for that one. <laughs> that one is enough enough for uh, people to uh, to rush to the theaters. Okay. What is the worst thing about working with Prabhas? Ah. <laughs> good, good, good. Please, sir, you, you say, sir. cannot diet. <laughs> 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 so one day my family came to visit me, and I have a daughter. She's yeah. nine years old. So uh, he asked my daughter, "What do you like to mm. eat?" So she's a little girl, no? She's mm. I think rattled off mm. some twenty different things. Yeah. <laughs> you won't believe that day. I'm not exaggerating. This is actual truth. <laughs> I had to take one more room that <laughs> night to keep the food. <laughs> and and I'm like, next day morning, I asked him, "Sir, you did you think that I have brought my like uncles, aunties? Like, <laughs> we were three of us: myself, my wife, and my daughter. And it's I I had photos in the other phone. It is unbelievable. He, it's impossible to diet with uh, with uh, Prabhas sir around. And the thing is, he doesn't eat also. Yeah, like, yeah, he yeah. doesn't eat. He doesn't he'll eat. have that he'll, that one small bowl. Mm-hmm. He'll have some rice and some dal or something. I don't know something like that. Mm-hmm. And he will keep feeding you. He'll keep feeding you. It's impossible to diet. That's and a look how you're thing. looking, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so fit. Shruti says, like you look, your skin is like 20 years old. Sir, she never said anything to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and with Prabhas around, you should be very careful. You should not say stuff like. Oh, I like this. So I like that. <laughs> Because evening you go to your room, whatever you said will be in your room, packed and ready. Like I one day I was saying, so I I, I have an, I like cars. I like driving. So I said, oh, I I was shooting around the country. I just mentioned, oh, it's been a long while since I went home and drove my cars. And he's saying, I'll 
you leave my Lamborghini here, you keep it for a few days. I'm like, are you mad over here? <laughs> 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 so he's like that dangerous person, sir. <laughs> Prashant. When I tell him a scene, mm. he loves it mm -hmm. and he does not scrutinize it. Mm -hmm. He did not, And I go back confused because I first bounce it off with him mm -hmm. that this is my scene. Mm -hmm. And he says, uh, he says something in Telugu which I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> then I go back yeah. and I start wondering if I have to get a second opinion <laughs> or something. Like, because most of it, like 99% of everything that I've told him, yeah. he questions the drama. He's, he's fantastic with drama. Yeah. That's something that uh, I understood very quickly because when I gave him the entire narration, mm. he did not ask me about uh, that scene or this scene in mm. particular. Mm. He mentioned something which changed the texture of the movie. He said the first scene mm. and the last scene, that, that is Salar part two, the mm. last scene. Mm. He said has to be exactly the same. Mm. And when he told me that, I was not prepared for mm. him to tell me something like that. I thought he'd, he'd say, give me, okay, what is the dialogues in, in this? Mm -hmm. Or uh, where does the fight come? Mm -hmm. Or let us do it like this. Mm -hmm. Nothing, he'd never said anything like that. Mm -hmm. And that is very tough for me to, come out of because I have been used to being scrutinized because I was a nobody in KGF1. Mm -hmm. I was scrutinized there and it was good scrutinizing. Of I'm course. not saying it of was course. bad. But over here it is like when the hero says it is fantastic, <laughs> then it is like whatever I've written, <laughs> I go back and I start thinking if <laughs> this is enough <laughs> or not. Yeah. So, so that is the worst part about so him, that he <laughs> trusts me too much. So <laughs> part two I won't say that. I'll say, ah, sir, I think... Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can make it better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I made a statement about Prabhas. Uh, again, in Telugu, I can't say that in, <laughs> in exact. But it loosely translates into Prabhas is a person who looks like an idiot, but is absolutely shrewd. Yeah. <laughs> ah, actually, yeah, yeah, actually, very close. Yeah. No, I don't know. Because he'll, he'll make you feel like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah no, sir, what, yeah, sir? He, like, uh, he doesn't know anything. Exactly. Uh, he's, he's like, uh, you can easily uh, fool him or like, yeah, you feel Nobody him, but he's <laughs> absolutely shrewd. <laughs> okay. And I, I don't know if you remember this, when we were shooting the Masra fight, I told you the exact same thing Rajmali sir did, said in the beginning. That you are very blessed because uh, yeah. you don't. You, I don't know if you remember yeah, this. Yeah, I remember. I told him you are very blessed because you just have to stand there. You mm -hmm. know, <laughs> like all, rest of us are all trying to perform, trying to act. You just have to stand there, and he's got this really nice face with the line, the side of the forehead, and everything. <laughs> and yeah. You just have to stand there, and it's, it's okay. Then nothing will do nothing else. I told the same thing to him actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I had I have very good screen presence. I'm very lucky, and you know. yeah. I used to ask him. Because he's, a, he's not only actor, I think in the country we have only one Prudviraj who has like Sir. given the biggest blockbuster and a superstar. <laughs> and he, he's very good in many things. So for like for Hindi, which I tried with Saho and Radhisham, it was very hard for me. Telugu first time, mm -hmm. because we, we watch Hindi films, yeah. Tamil I know I was mm -hmm. born there, mm -hmm. but still it was very hard for me. Mm -hmm. He comes, last minute Prashant changes something and he's like, What's the last minute you change? Mm -hmm. He's never angry. I never saw an actor like that. It's always cool. First mm -hmm. day to last day. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with him, actually. <laughs> so actually so I fell in love with you more than Shruti, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Whatever people think, I don't know. Even little, little irritation on your face, never. The last minute is very hard. Telugu, he never did. Yeah. Telugu is very hard. We don't. One they thing don't I requested Prashant sir. One thing. I said, Just give I will dialogue. only act. So Prashant was okay with Tinu sir saying his lines in Hindi yeah. and uh, the Tamil gentleman <laughs> saying his lines in Tamil. <laughs> so I told Prashant, there is no way I'm going to say my lines in Malayalam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will learn Telugu and mm -hmm. I will say my lines in Telugu. Mm -hmm. But I have one request. Give me the lines at least 24 hours in advance so that yeah, I can learn. And four seconds before I think. <laughs> no, no, he'll give me every day 24 hours in advance. Him and Sandy, Sandy, we see here. <laughs> ah, okay, him, him and the dialogue writer, 24 hours before they'll give me, sir, and some like big lines they'll give, <laughs> and I'll. At the night and all, I'm like walking on the treadmill and all. I'm learning my lines. <laughs> Next day, I'll come. They'll be like, Prashant will be like, okay, ready, ready. Roll camera. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He'll run and come and say, sir, that line, you change and say this, sir. I say, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> what, what? <laughs> and it's like, we like, hey, you're torturing him. I used to talk with Sandeep, everybody. We can't say, like, Prashant is like seriously into the shot. Sandeep, why you're torturing him? It's for him, it's like, 
Telugu is like yeah, yeah, really foreign language, language for him yeah. because we, he doesn't watch. Maybe he watched one two Telugu films. Mm -hmm. I I think he watched only Bahubali. Bahubali one two. I watched <laughs> Telugu. Telugu. Or yeah. maybe four films in your life. Yeah. Maximum sir. <laughs> so like uh, it's very hard to do that. Like don't do that. And for this sir, in one minute, I don't know how he does it. Yeah. It's like almost ninety percent Telugu in dubbing. You see. It's so good. <laughs> I asked him like, sir, how many talents you have? You direct, you're a superstar. <laughs> you know languages, you're very good in English, you are super educated. How many, how many you do, sir, <laughs> in a day? <laughs> I only know, actually, act, sir, I'm basically an actor, accidental director, that's all, but. Yeah. Sir, no. accidental <laughs> director, no. <laughs> sir, Lucifer, we all saw, sir. Exactly. sir. <laughs> when Prithvi sir joined us, uh, we had given him the dialogues, and uh, I did not know what kind of a person he was. Hmm. He comes on the set yeah, and yeah. you know, he, he keeps to himself, maybe it seems like arrogance or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was looking at his phone and he was sitting down in one place. I did not know where I, whether I had to disturb him. I finally realized that he was looking at his dialogues. Mm -hmm. He was sitting quietly by himself, putting the earphones, mm. and he was learning his dialogues. That is why he was staying, sticking far away from the rest of us. <laughs> then I realized it's a futile exercise. Because anyway, <laughs> just before, between takes and all, he'll change lines. So, then, so, so future actors who get the privilege of working with Prashant Neel, okay. don't learn your lines. <laughs> <laughs> when you wanted to uh, direct a movie with Prabhas, I don't know whether you already had the script or, or once you thought of Prabhas, then you started developing the theme. I, I don't know what which happened first, but what aspect of Prabhas did you want to exploit on, on the screen or did you want to direct him as a director? So I know every actor uh, is brilliant, you know, when he comes on screen and mm -hmm. everything that I'm not taking away from uh, anybody. Of course, each any one, one has their them. own. Uh, but the one particular thing, and I told him earlier also was, the way he can show innocence and then he can burst out to be a monster mm -hmm. is something that I haven't seen with everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that is probably what we have exploited in the movie also. Yeah. Of him looking like a sheep one moment mm -hmm. and him turning into a lion the next. That is Deva actually. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a character. Kalu patkuntadu, tala narakthadu. So that is something that we... Uh, I mean, he, he is every bit of... Deva, mm -hmm. the the character, you know, he he's not con, he, he does not like conflicts, mm. but when it comes mm. to his doorstep, he is not going to let it go. Yeah. So that is that the innocence is something that I I had always seen. You know, you loved it from Varsham, mm -hmm. and uh, it was best exploited again in Bahubali. Mm -hmm. uh, Mirchi was more of a being arrogant from the beginning, mm. but uh, Bahubali is something that you know. You would fall in love with a character mm -hmm. uh, like that, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, wa it wasn't unnecessary mm -hmm. for him to be violent. Mm -hmm. And that is also something that we are doing uh, with uh, Salar. Mm -hmm. And that, wa that was the first thing that I told him also at that mm -hmm. point of time. That, you know, I love the innocence because mm -hmm. everything else that comes after that yeah. is what we can show in the movie. And that will be the most beautiful part of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just before mm -hmm. we have an outburst. Mm -hmm. That moment that he holds himself back is probably going to be the best part of the movie. So how violent an innocent man can be? That is, yes, sir. that sir. is your take of Prabhas in Salar. Yes, sir. Yeah, fans would be like, will be going crazy hearing that <laughs> line. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> this is much bigger elevation for them. <laughs> this is what they want to hear, and the, this is what the, they want the to scene see. Where Deva it finally flips because through the film Varada manages to mm -hmm. hold him back mm -hmm. at one point even Varada can't mm -hmm. he loses the control mm -hmm. the scene where Deva finally flips mm -hmm. I think the synopsis of that scene is what Prashant just said <laughs> right but that, that is a whole like the entire film builds up to that point mm -hmm. and till then you don't know why is why are people talking about him what is what is the big thing and <laughs> then there's a flip that happens and that scene, I think you should just see in the <laughs> theatre. <laughs> <laughs> now you are getting me more excited. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the questions that the uh, fans really, really want to know uh, from the horse's mouth, from from <laughs> yeah, yeah. you, yeah. like, uh, is there a connection between KGF and Salar? No, sir. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. Absolutely These not. are two different worlds. Mm -hmm. uh, my, uh, it was very, very, um, convenient for us to have taken that route mm -hmm. but uh, I have a responsibility I've come to a very big star mm -hmm. 
and uh, I'm f firstly I'm not capable of making uh, these connections. Mm -hmm. I'm not capable of that at all. It's uh, the respect that I have to give to the star that I'm working in the mm -hmm. movie. Mm -hmm. That you know I am making a, s a new world mm -hmm. for people. The way they took back Rocky with them mm -hmm. back home. Mm -hmm. I want them to take back a Deva. Mm -hmm. I want them to take back a Varda, mm -hmm. Vardaraj mm -hmm. with them. You know it is. It, it was the most convenient thing for us to do and it had mm -hmm. come up with in discussion a long time back. But personally for me, I did not want to do that. Mm -hmm. It's not right for uh, mm -hmm. us to just encash on that bandwagon of uh, mm -hmm. making these connections and uh, bringing people back to the theatre. That would have been the easiest thing. But, but do you like that? Do you, do you like that creating words which connect in a larger universe? Do you like that? I like to see it when it comes out right, you know, like mm -hmm. the Avengers series. Yeah. It, it came out right. Mm -hmm. And uh, if somebody is doing it, like Lokesh is doing it in uh, mm -hmm. the Tamil film industry, yeah. it, cra it came out right. Mm -hmm. But I'm not capable of doing something like that because there are different timelines. Mm -hmm. KGF happens in the 80s and this happens mm -hmm. in today's period. Okay. So I, I, I'm not capable of doing <laughs> that. I don't connect <laughs> with that. But I love to see that huh. connections huh. like that happen because it, it turns into an euphoria mm -hmm. when, when you see two characters coming together from different uh, yes. movies. Yeah. So what is your uh, obsession with black? <laughs> I have a OCD. Mm -hmm. okay. I have an OCD and uh, with, uh, OCD. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with uh, monochrome. Yeah. And that is somehow reflecting mm -hmm. in my movies, mm -hmm. which I realized only after I put out the Salar uh, trailer and mm -hmm. teaser. Mm -hmm. I realized that very strongly, it's nothing to do with my DOP, mm -hmm. it's nothing to do with uh, my art director. Mm -hmm. It's just something that I realized, I have an OCD that I feel that when, when, when I put out my mm -hmm. uh, content, mm -hmm. it has to be with that color because I don't feel like I'm, I'm telling that this is from a, a world which is as gritty as mm -hmm. it is. I'm, I'm not brave enough probably to do that and probably I've realized that, you know, that is not the best thing to do, mm. but this world deserves it. Mm. This world des deserves it. It's, it's, it's a coincidence that it is being compared to the previous world that mm. uh, we created, mm. but it has nothing to do with that. It's mm. just my OCD which is reflecting in uh, uh, what on screen. The other OCD <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, uh, yes. I, I heard. Uh, I heard something <laughs> leak out. I want to talk about the so OCD so play. Uh, his obsession with black. Mm -hmm. So I mostly wear black right. in the film and mm -hmm. uh, Professor also wears like olive greens and all that. Mm -hmm. So I'll put on this black kurta kind of a thing and I'll walk onto set and Prashant will be like, <coughs> Sir, um, <laughs> I'm like, I want to change. Yeah, sir, this is not working. And then they'll call the costume department and brief and them for 20 minutes like, yeah, okay, and they'll bring yeah. another one, mm -hmm. which is exactly the same black. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll put that on. And, and, I'm like, and I'm sir, uh, sir, I'm really sorry, sir. I'm, I'm really sorry. I said, you want me to change? That's okay, I can change again. And he said, hey, what, what, what's uh, the going to fire the costume department. Mm -hmm. Those poor guys will run for their life and bring a third kurta. Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> I, I, and I asked him, like, sir, uh, sir, uh, <laughs> no, different sir. shade of black. <laughs> no, sir. No, no. Different shade no, of black. No, I asked him, <laughs> sir. Sir, they, uh, they said change, sir. Change, sir. And then, yeah. Sir, I don't find any difference. <laughs> and we both are like, yeah, even I don't, sir. But director wants, let's do it. <laughs> his, his other obsession is hairstyling. Amma, please don't talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to. Please, please, please. Hairstyling. Sir, Salar is. Stories Salar, stories no then, play, sir, first dialogue, hairstyle. direction, hairstyling. Sir, Prashant first <laughs> hairstyle, sir. First hairstyle, then direction. Then. He will style every actor's hair. Like, he's so particular. Hmm. Like, he'll come and he'll like, sir, this one, sir, one strand, sir, here. And, and he's so... I did that with Tino Anand also. <laughs> yes. And Tino Anand, sir. And Tino Anand, sir, is asking me, are you doing what I have seven <laughs> hair on my head. <laughs> <laughs> he seriously did that. Suddenly, that, that the shot is like, one minute, one minute, wait, Owen, wait. That Owen is the biggest. uses the backlight more than he uses the front light. <laughs> so it's always, you know, if no, something no. is popping out. No, I no, can't. no, 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 it's, it's a problem. It's a serious <laughs> problem. I understood when I saw, like, this is nothing, not necessary. Suddenly in the shot, like, one minute, wait, wait. Whole set is like, 50 people are there, wait, wait. He went behind the mother, my mother's character. Mother. <laughs> and she he did, pulled her hair and came. And I was like, what? Who pulls the hair like that <laughs> from behind? <laughs> She's like, maybe she got used to it by KGF 2 and now. And she didn't say a word. 
who pulls the hair like this? <laughs> and I'm like, what is this man? <laughs> then I told Fruti sir, he has an obsession. Be careful. Huh? Yeah, that actually <laughs> first, first I told him. Uh, Pramas only told me. Because or else I would have been worried because it was a And it's not, he'll be sitting like, the, the sets are very, very big. If, you, if you've seen the sets, it's like massive. So sometimes he has these really super wide shots and he'll be sitting half a kilometer away. He'll come running. He'll come, it'll be a drone shot. And he'll come. <laughs> <laughs> I, really I understand that uh, yeah. having the hair, but uh, because in my emotional scenes, I want the hair to fly in a certain way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that, that, that so there's I, a, I, I understand there's the that. biggest propeller in the set. <laughs> the whole hair is behind us. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not here. The ha hair is behind. Like if, if Fudisar is behind me, my hair is behind him. <laughs> so his hair is behind. Like, like just behind you, that scene in jail with uh, no uh -huh. Prabhasar and me. You think that hair is falling over the forehead accidentally? No. 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 It is okay. <laughs> every string, every hair. <laughs> Many times he stopped for one, one yeah, hair, sir. Yeah, he will do that. Prabhas has lots and lots of fans and kids. So your film, Salar, getting an a certification. So how do you, how do you feel about you? How do you feel about it? The intention was never to make a movie as so violent that it is going to get an A certification. Mm -hmm. uh, I have seen Telugu cinema last 25, 30 years. I've mm -hmm. seen it. Mm -hmm. I sometimes I thought my action is uh, pale in comparison to mm -hmm. the action that mm -hmm. was. That is something that I have seen. Mm -hmm. But they drew out a new. Uh, Guidelines? Guidelines uh -huh. recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, the censor officer also told me mm -hmm. that this is what it is. And the cuts that they were asking for, mm -hmm. if they were. Uh, if they have to come to U by A or. or yeah, uh -huh. the, they had asked for a lot of cuts. I was mm -hmm. okay to do all of those cuts, but mm -hmm. there were a couple of cuts mm -hmm. which I did not want to mm -hmm. remove because it was not going to satisfy the story of the movie, the drama mm -hmm. of the movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was very disappointed. Mm -hmm. I almost sat very quietly in mm -hmm. front of her for, a while, for almost 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Because I know that I have not made a vulgar movie mm -hmm. or a movie which uh, is uh, insensible uh, mm -hmm. with, uh, with violence. Mm -hmm. It is all necessary violence mm -hmm. that I have put, in, put into Salar. More than I have put in to KGF, mm. I thought this movie requires it because it's, this movie is about friendship, it is about sacrifice, it is about one character who does not involve himself with anything that is happening with the world. He doesn't seem very interested. Mm. But when the world pulls him to do something like that, mm. and uh, we have created situations like that, it was a disappointment for me to begin with. I called up Prabhas sir also and I told him, mm. and uh, his response was very quick. Mm. He said, Tis kunendi. <laughs> said, take it because I think this movie is uh, yeah. something that deserves that and mm. probably the guidelines are mm. right mm. you know probably I will think about taking my children uh, mm. to something like that but the, the intention is not mm. that to not I'm to make a violent movie it is about to make a dramatic film in a violent world yeah. yes yeah, that's yeah. it not to exploit the violence or not to not at all uh, not no. just for the commerciality mm. of violence yeah. what was your thought Prabhas like a certification. Well, That's it. The main yeah. thing is like the yeah, kids. Yeah, I, like, I, I like a yeah, whatever. Like yeah, they have their own gu guidelines and all. But the story, it's a violent world. That's what the first caption is like. The most violent world. Uh, most violent men called one man. Man, man. man, man. Mm. Most uh, violent. So the whole story is based on a, a Kansar city, which is a violent city. Mm. You now we can't change that for certificate, whatever certificate they give. Mm. The story should be right. So I thought it's fine. It's not. Uh, designed mm. for the violence. Mm. It's, it's designed for the emotion mm. and uh, the drama. Mm. I never put in one shot also mm. just because I wanted to make you know rebel star Prabhas look like <laughs> rebel star Prabhas of the old you know but they they'd, they'd seen him with blood on his face and the best was you know when it's in Chhatrapati of course. It was never designed for something like that. So uh, one of the complaints that I have about the movie is like Two songs that I watch on my phone or on my TV again and again, two songs of uh, Shruti Hasan uh, from Race Gurram, Padi song and uh, Char Sila. I, I, I just love her dancing. Those are the two songs that I watch again and again and again. Yeah. 
again. And uh, just outside in the corridor, you were saying that we are not going to have any uh, yeah. mm. any 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 duets. <laughs> like duets. You you disappointed me. <laughs> I, I'm very sorry for that. Sir. <laughs> so, but I mean, uh, jokes apart, like people will be expecting something when yeah. Prabhas and Shruti are there. They will be expecting uh, uh, yeah. whether it's a romantic duet or a dance mm. duet, dance number yeah. or yeah. whatever, but some kind of uh, chemistry uh, song that is happening yes, between yes. them. So we initially thought of putting something like that. We mm. uh, but a mass uh, number, right? A mass number mm. and uh, something, uh, a, a duet with uh, this. But mm. uh, we were sucked into the drama so much mm. that we never used Shruti for a glamour quotient in the movie. Okay. She's part of the story and a very strong character in the mm. story. Mm. And uh, I think the world has sort of changed mm. the last few years. Mm. Uh, people are more exposed to international content and uh, they are accepting mm. just pure drama if yes. the drama is done right mm. and we decided to go against something like that though you know we put in a lot of money into this and commerciality is very important mm. we, we thought let's make the, the drama itself the commercial mm. aspect of this movie mm. and uh, drama has always worked we have seen the best the biggest movie in india has worked because of the drama. Yes, of course. Beyond uh, everything drama, else. I, I mean, see, yeah, uh, like you said, uh, you were saying that the world has changed, but I, I would rather put it in a better perspective. I think we have changed. The world has always been accepting films for what they are. They, it, they didn't need to have extra questions. We were not um, brave enough or uh, uh, confident enough of our own products so that we were adding additional things. Throughout history, we, if, we find, if we look, we will find films which came out just on pure drama and did exceptionally well. So, uh, yeah. we didn't have the confidence to go forward. <laughs> you had now. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, we should have also appreciate producers, Mumbali. Mm -hmm. It's like really, they didn't, they never say a word, Vijay sir. Mm -hmm. He never liked it. Prashant, you want this? Okay. Timeline? Okay. Day? Okay. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Like for actors or like he's super comfortable producer. Like yes. I, I he's sweet. Yeah, he's, he's and I think it it is because basically he's a big film lover. Yeah, and yeah. he loves cinema. I yeah. think because yeah. of that only Humbali got like uh, KGF one, KGF two, Kantara, Kantara, Kantara like three <laughs> blockbusters in a yeah. row, and all national films. Of course, this is the is the biggest, most anticipated movie coming from. Uh, Prabhas and you directing the movie after KGF 1 and KGF 2 and having a uh, stellar cast like uh, uh, Prithvi and all the people in the in the movie. I'm sure you are ever, uh, aware of the expectation from the people about what kind of expectation they are on the uh, they have on the movie from the day of the announcement. Like yes. How often does that hit you? Does that hit you like like there are like like literally millions of people out there eagerly waiting not just for the movie any update of the movie any glimpse of the movie any news <laughs> of the movie any trailer any teaser you whatever comes like <laughs> are you aware of that anticipation yes sir uh, and and does it hit you it did hit me that is why i uh, got myself out of uh, the social media <laughs> my wife uh, had uh, with a lot of love created these uh, hundreds and thousands of followers <laughs> for me but I deleted that because I did not want anything mm -hmm. to affect mm -hmm. my uh, uh, my way of thinking about mm -hmm. cinema. Mm -hmm. Of course those pressures are there and that comes from love. Yes of course it comes out of love. But I come from a simple mm -hmm. way of thinking. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to be influenced by anybody. If somebody has to tell me it has to come from Prabhas sir or it has to come from the producer. Mm -hmm. The first time I put out a trailer mm. or a teaser. Mm. Till then, I shouldn't be told mm. what I'm doing is right or wrong because I, 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 I don't have an ego about it. Mm. It's just that I don't zero ego. I, mm. I don't want to be uh, influenced, influenced mm. yeah, yeah. by mm. uh, something like that. So mm. I, I, it does, bo it, it did bother me for a long period of time, mm. and uh, this was this happened after KGF two. Mm. Uh, you know, mm. people started appreciating. Mm. And things like that, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, it, it is.
to be human. Mm -hmm. If uh, a thousand people appreciate you, yeah, and yeah. one person says mm -hmm. your movie was bullshit, mm -hmm. <laughs> it hurts you more than the thousand people giving <laughs> <Yeah>. you appreciation. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I started realizing that you know that uh -huh. shouldn't matter. It's mm -hmm. reflecting in the box office. Yeah. yeah. If it uh, as long as that happens, that means the love is coming yeah. automatically. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Darling, how do you deal with the pressure of the expectation? Hmm? So I, me? Hmm. I know what happens yeah. on the day of the release. I, I'm not <laughs> talking about the day of the release. Yeah, I don't I'm know. talking about in general. In general, yeah, it's you are much more connected to the fans and the yeah, general audience yeah, yeah. and uh, all that stuff. You know what the expectation yeah. is. Yeah. So after a while, it was like really tough, definitely. I didn't know what to do. It's like suddenly from Telugu film industry to India, yeah. Japan. <laughs> Not India, <laughs> suddenly, it's like a world yeah, I, 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 I went to Italy in dolls. At least abroad is like very comfortable for us. Like no one cares. <laughs> yeah, but like, not for was, you. <laughs> yeah, for us, like, yeah, a lot of other countries. Italy was stand, standing outside uh, Dolce Gabbana, some clothing. Suddenly a dwarf comes. He can't even speak English. He's like, Prabhas. He didn't say Bahubali, he said Prabhas. Wow. Like, <laughs> Rajmoli, <laughs> 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 I can't live in here. So India, anyway, I can't move. Yeah, yeah. Go. So like, I thought, and it was so exciting. Some, some. He can't even speak English, and he said Prabhas. He didn't say Bahubali. Then I, I, I like how I'm trying to understand. He couldn't understand English. So I called my driver and asked him like, what, what is he trying to say? Please talk in Italy. And he said, I saw Bahubali. He removed his phone and shot. I thought like Rajmoli. <laughs> <laughs> One film, that's it. I mean, like, some some films become that. Some films become way more than a film. No, I mean it's like yeah. it's like now Bahubali is like a cultural phenomenon. <laughs> like it's it's become way bigger yeah. than a piece of cinema. It means a lot more than just a film, especially to people inside the industry. So I I understand that. This is not just my question. Everybody's question. This will be. You started uh, uh, making Bahubali, thinking about it as just one part. First, yes, initially, yes. Oh. I started as one one film, and uh, we started writing. We basically wanted to do one movie, yes. so we started writing, writing, writing. It expanded, and uh, we thought, okay, it will be a, like maybe three and a half hour movie, three hour, fifteen, twenty minutes movie. But everything was into one, and slowly we could see that it is not going to be over in three and a half hours. It will be like four and a half hours or five hours. If we just put the all the pieces together, uh, then came the idea. Probably, if we can split it into two, two parts. parts, and and that was a crazy idea that no one had that kind of idea before. Now, yeah, we, yeah. now everyone, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah, part two is part. like uh, almost yeah, any big film. People are uh, asking yeah. whether there is a part two. Yeah, but yeah. at that point of time, it was like a crazy thought. Crazy thought. Yeah. So, so I asked the producers, and also because the budget is really, yeah. really going high, the only way. I can do the movies like doing mm. it to two parts, and your budgets will be like double the budgets that you are going to yeah. uh, put in. And uh, Prabhas was was like, he was super excited, but he was saying, let's leave it to the producers because they have to take a call. Yeah, it is it's yeah. a crazy idea. Yeah. So crazy crazy yeah. ideas, we can't take yeah. the call. Yeah. The guy who is putting in the money to should take the call. So after so the they said uh, yes, and we went ahead. <laughs> when you split it into two parts. Mm. You had five very impressionable characters, mm. five or six, yeah. and uh, you did not introduce another character in your part two. Mm. And that's a very, very scary scenario for, uh, I mean, in the sense that you're not changing the world, mm -hmm. you're not changing anything. Mm -hmm. You have the same drama that you established over mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and you went ahead with mm -hmm. part two. Mm -hmm. And the number of scenes that you really will stand. I mean, they were all brilliant scenes. The interval block of Bahubali 2 is probably one of my favorite <laughs> scenes. <laughs> Without a fight. Yeah. <laughs> Without a fight. And immediately after that, you have the scene where he chops off the head. Yeah. That doesn't have a fight. Yeah. <laughs> and to do something like that with bare minimum characters and not to change mm -hmm. too many things is probably was was that running in the back of your mind that you probably might fall short of it or you thought somewhere that. No, this is my story and that is how you stuck to it. No, for us, when we started writing Bahubali, obviously everything was not there. But we had the, the characters, beginning, ending, the transfer, uh, transformation of the characters from the beginning and we had all those threads. And we were like super, super excited about it. We never had any kind of doubt whether like 
whether this is good, this is bad, this is right, this is, we know, we knew everything was good. The only doubts was like whether the, whether we can get the money back, the amount of money yeah, that we are putting yeah, in, yeah. The in the regular uh, Telugu, just uh, uh, in the Telugu states, it is impossible to get it back. Yeah, impossible. So how to, how to uh, get it? Yeah. So can we crack Hindi? Mm. Can we uh, crack Tamil? Can we uh, crack Malayalam? Malayalam. Kannada we didn't dub at that time. So, uh, so th those were the only doubts. We never had any kind of doubts. Mm. I think I, I wrote another at least 20, 25 scenes that didn't make into the uh, final cut because of the... Where are they, sir? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Can all of them were like extremely good. He, he loves... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why why uh, Katapa killed Bahubali yeah. was going to be as big as that, sir? No, no, uh, no that, that was an afterthought. Uh, afterthought no, in the no, sense. No, no, he's asking, he knew already that it's going to be so big. Well, did you think? Uh, that was a national know? question. You know? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, you know we that didn't think that that would be a question that would be like so Cult. popular. We didn't know that. Uh, obviously, we knew that it's going to be a, a, a shocking, yeah, beautiful, shocking, shocking uh, movement. I, I didn't expect that to be. <laughs> uh, for us, we didn't coin the word. Yeah. Why cut off a kill no, we, didn't, well, we didn't coin the word. We saw that on the social became, media. Yeah, 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 and yeah. we thought, oh, this is beautiful. Let's, okay, let's <laughs> use it. And we started <laughs> use that as a publicity for the part. When did you decide that Salar will be two parts? How did you decide it will be two parts? Same. Okay. Same we, started, we started writing it as... As a one, one part As movie. a single movie. Okay. Um, I consciously wanted to make it a very, very strong drama. Mm -hmm. So when Prithvi sir was... Uh, Prithvi sir came into the sets... Mm -hmm. And we saw how much of a difference he's making. We added more scenes to it any which ways. Yeah. And so he uh, came be like Yeah, like the scene where you get the the where he's drunk mm -hmm. and uh, he's voicing out was not supposed to be a big scene. It was okay. supposed to be a very small scene. Mm -hmm. But when we saw what he did, uh, I knew that this is going to be a proper drama. Mm -hmm. And the ending to part two. Mm -hmm changed completely okay uh, if i say that i i <laughs> love how part how part 2 ends mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. it is yeah. like really <laughs> really <laughs> yeah. so the, i mean the confidence comes from somebody has to take that one step into the darkness yeah. and yeah. you did that with bahubali yeah. mm -hmm. keeping a minimal number of characters you mm -hmm. still can convince the audience mm -hmm. to come back and watch it again because mm -hmm. you leave that much of drama behind yeah. and uh, it's not a big secret. I've said it somewhere else, else also that, you know, the, the Salar is about two best friends mm. who sacrifice their, who are ready to sacrifice their own lives for one another. Mm. And they turn out to be the biggest enemies. Mm. So, the, I can't tell this in one part. I realized very soon that the mm. drama is so much that I can't tell this in mm. one part. And uh, it's not about the number of villains that they're going to encounter or anything like that. They are the two big, biggest villains for one another. Yeah. But they happen to be the best friends. So that story needs to be told in probably six hours. After the aftermath of mm. KGF2 mm. Uh, 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 destruction of box office, like every hero wanted to uh, uh, work with uh, yeah. uh, uh, Prashant. Yeah. Everyone, no, yeah. without yeah. exception. Yeah. So what kind of ego boost, ego boost was it for you <laughs> that he chose you? I did not choose him. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah, this no, the question is right. Does not have that thing only. I don't, I don't think he has an ego. <laughs> I don't know. That, doesn't have zero. <laughs> no, that's zero. impossible, impossible. Like, yeah. like uh, uh, I, I mean, I know he's, uh, he, he doesn't have that kind of ego. I should be like bigger or like, nothing. No, nothing. <laughs> he's like the most uh, down to earth yeah. person in that aspect. I'm saying, like, as an actor, yeah, yeah, yeah. as an actor, like, yeah, the question you have is the right. most yeah. hot shot. Yeah. yeah, director out there, yeah. and so many actors yeah. uh, along with him, his seniors, yeah. his juniors, his uh, his yeah. equivalents. Yeah. Everyone wants to work with yes, him. Yes, and uh, and Prashant was a hot property. Like yeah, hot every property. actor, yeah. every and fan. Yeah. Don't tell me that it doesn't give you any kind of ego boost. <laughs> <Hot chick. laughs> He's saying hot chick. <laughs> hot chick. <laughs> Definitely, because my fans were like KGF, Manoj, Jayal, Sindhu. And they, uh, uh, some big politicians also, I don't want to take names, and they were like, Pahavaltarath, KGF, 
And the, wherever I go, they're talking about KGF, <laughs> more than Bahubali. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what? I didn't watch the film then. Yeah. With fans, people around who work at uh, home and everybody like, KGF film director, KGF director. Like, what did this fellow do? <laughs> I watched the film, definitely it's extraordinary and you uh, film board or whatever. Then suddenly, uh, some, some like Prashant wants to meet you. Yeah. And the problem with our industry, like maybe in the every industry, the producer says like, director wants to meet you. Mm -hmm. And here they say like, uh, the hero wants to meet the director. <laughs> like this, especially these hot <laughs> property directors. You know, maybe in you also know. <laughs> so I don't know the, now that it's a producer's trick or really Prashant wants to meet. <laughs> then I ask the producer like, really Prashant wants to meet or you're forcing him to meet? Because if, if they're less like Bahubali hero is calling, mm -hmm. for me it is like uh, KGF yeah, yeah, director yeah. is calling. Both don't want to say no. Yeah. But we don't know it's the producer's call or our call. Yeah. So I asked the producer, like, uh, is it uh, Prashant really? I said, yeah. yeah. Then, okay, Prashant wants to meet. So we know it's just a general discussion. It's not Hombalai. It's not Hombalai. Oh, it's not Hombalai. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. I see. Oh, okay. oh, it's not Hombalai. Uh, I was thinking, that's <laughs> so that's the other thing. So we met and we were just talking normally. Mm -hmm. So what films you like? What films you like? It's like a general talk. Mm -hmm. I was not asking him like when you're going to do a film. He's not going to tell. He's not telling me like we should do a film. Nothing. We didn't have that discussion. Mm -hmm. We just because he's a shy guy, mm -hmm. and definitely I never asked anyone. Mm -hmm. Same. So he also for he for him it's very important. He should like the actor mm -hmm. because for him everything mm -hmm. is actors. Yeah. Everything. Mm -hmm. Actors are gods. I'm literally. <laughs> it's like for like if you work with Prashant film, it's very hard to work. He takes care of actors like, oh, hero came, uh, stop everything. No, no, only hero. I'm like, sir, it's okay. Half half our life we stayed in the caravan. It's okay. We can wait. No, 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 you came. Sir, hero came. So it's like very special for him. So I think for him, his nature, his soft nature, I think. I think he should like the actor also. Hmm. So definitely would have never, I asked him, sir, I would have never asked him. He would have never asked him. Mm -hmm. Because that we should lucky that producer helped us. <laughs> we liked each other. Mm -hmm. So Prashant thought like Bahubali actor. Mm -hmm. uh, so he told I asked him later, like, why sir? Mm -hmm. I know later we both we would have never met. Mm -hmm. I mean we would have said hi, hi, I loved KJF, I loved Bahubali, that's all. Mm -hmm. I know him. Mm -hmm. So so I told him like what sir, what do you thought? Like we thought Bahubali actor is like very serious, so all egoistic. <laughs> it is loose attitude with those loose dress, <laughs> t-shirts and cap which you were walks like that. We thought little super attitude. <laughs> <laughs> <And> oh, <laughs> 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 he showed me all that. And it was like lucky the producer actually. So we both liked each other. And suddenly one day Pramod got a call. Mm. Just now Adi Purush and Project K, mm. two big films. And I thought, like, okay, this year is done. Next year I'm planning. Mm. Now suddenly Humbali and I said. Prashant uh, wants to direct. I'm like, Pramod and me were like, <laughs> suddenly what, what? After that, we never called. Uh -huh. The producer used to say, like, I say happy birthday to Prashant. I said, I, I never do that. Why will I do? I won't do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I, I thought like there are 100 heroes behind him or 100 pro products. Uh -huh. So I don't why should I come in between and disturb him? If he likes, he'll come. Uh -huh. Suddenly, one night, 12 o'clock. If we say yes, they both will get angry. <laughs> no, no, say no, Prashant, we can never work because they, he's, he has a yeah. hundred lineups on there. Oh. So, promo than we thought. And they're like, how many days they want? They are also very smart. They said only 45 days. <laughs> 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 it's, a, it's a producer's <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> 45 <laughs> days and, and talk here and there. Yeah, and maybe you don't know. <laughs> the producer said 45 days. And promo than we like, 45 days. Hmm. Prashant me. <laughs> Last two films, six years or five years he did, <laughs> 45 days. But it's good for, uh, we can tell other directors, only 45 days, maybe 65 for us, <laughs> for lying it's better. <laughs> no, pro, no, uh, Nagashin and all will get angry, but okay. So promo then we thought like 45, okay, 45, 80. I'll tell Nagui, Nagui like in between I'll do something and I'll manage. Because if I say no, we thought the whole day, we thought how to say no for one day and next day we thought, Maybe all the big films will take time. Mm. As as usual, mm. Nagashin took three years. <laughs> you know, anyway, it took three years. Comfortably, I finished both the films. So I was worried next day, like, 
if fans know that I said no to Prashant Neil, whatever reason, mm -hmm. <laughs> they will kill me definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so I thought, I me and Pramod <laughs> thought like, uh, it's, uh, whatever we'll try and push it in. Uh -huh. we'll, I'll work hard or whatever. It's very comfortable actually. Uh -huh. but we shot only for 100. 90 days, something like that. No, no, mine, mine. Days, sir. mine, only mine. Hun 112 days, yours. Mine. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sir, you answered me how the project happened between, yeah. how the Salar happened. Very interesting, very nice, funny yeah. thing. My question is like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my question is. <laughs> Sorry, I, I always do this, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My question is, what kind of ego boost did you have uh, when the most hotshot director uh, yeah. chose you? Yeah, but more than ego was, I think, yeah, I definitely like, felt lucky. I thought like some fellow, that man gave me Bahubali. That's why I'm getting all this. <laughs> 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 no, I that really got shrewd. ego. <laughs> that, I told you shrewd, no? I told you shrewd. No? <laughs> you didn't know uh, Prashant before Salar, right? Or did you know him or personally? Personally, no, no. Personally. I, I did not. I did not. Actually. Okay, I, uh, in fact, um, uh, it was during a meeting between uh, myself and Hombali Films, mm -hmm. where uh, they were discussing the possibility of me directing a film for Hombali. Okay. That Vijay sir, for the first time, said Prashant would like to uh, pitch a character in okay. Salar. Uh, so, what was your first thought when when you s when he <laughs> said that? What? So, to be very frank, sir, I was already getting prepared to say no <laughs> because <laughs> I, I'll oh, tell really, no, I'll tell you why, sir. Thank because God. Uh, when when there is a, when there is a huge filmmaker, yeah. like, he could cast anybody in the country, <laughs> right? Wanting to come to Malayalam industry and cast mm. an actor, we are unfortunately programmed to think, okay, this is probably going to be some small character. You know, mm -hmm. we are unfortunately programmed to think that <laughs> way. So I'm also thinking, uh, Prashant Neel film with Prabhas, mm. what will I be doing in it? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it should be some small character. And I'm think I've not done, uh, before Salar, I had stopped doing other language yeah. films for yeah. 10 years almost. Yeah. The last other language film I did was in 2014. Uh, mm -hmm. Tamil film called Kavi Talevan. Actually, mm -hmm. that film I got the Tamil Nadu State Award, mm -hmm. uh, and then I decided this is a good time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then I, I I didn't do another other language film after that. Ah, then I did a small uh, a cameo for Neeraj Pandey, my mm -hmm. friend, in a film called Nam Shaban. Other than that, I haven't done. Mm -hmm. So I'm already prepared to say no, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm thinking it's some small character. Then I heard the narration. Mm -hmm. I frankly couldn't come to terms with the first thing I asked him is, Prabhas sir is okay with uh, this is Prabha sir is the one who told me to tell you the, the <laughs> story <laughs> because the film is very much about these two characters mm -hmm. you know the story is between these mm -hmm. two characters and um, I'm going to sound very sad and, and uh, you know uh, des desolate here but unfortunately in Malayalam industry we don't dream of being able to have like a main character in an SS Rajmoli film <laughs> or Prashant <laughs> Neel film because we come from very small industry and we understand mm -hmm. because when you make a film you need actors that have mm -hmm. reach all over the country, mm -hmm. actors that belong to bigger industries. So we don't dream like this. So I have not even dreamt mm -hmm. of being a central character in a Prashant Neel film. Mm -hmm. So complete thanks to whatever it is that made Prashant think, mm -hmm. huh, this guy in Malayalam, you know, he could be Varadraja Manar. <laughs> so I should thank whoever or whatever made him think mm -hmm. that way. I felt great about it. I felt great about it. I, it took me about 10 seconds after the narration to say yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, and then the whole drama of me getting stuck in Jordan uh, while shooting for another film, I was stuck in, and the lockdown happened. Yeah. Oh. And the whole dates <coughs> changed. Mm -hmm. And I remember one really sad meeting between Prashant and me, <laughs> like two lovers breaking up. <laughs> 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 I told him, Prashant, I don't know if I'll be able to do Salar because I have to go back to finish that film. Yeah. Because I had gone through a big physical transformation for that film. I had oh. lost 31 kilos. Oh. And it's yeah. a story of a man who gets stuck in a desert, which is oh. releasing in April. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was like very thin and long beard and all mm -hmm. that. I mean, I told him, I can't do anything to this because I have to go finish mm -hmm. that film. And then we broke up thinking, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to lose this wonderful opportunity. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, something happened. P things <laughs> fell into place. And Prashant's dates changed, my dates changed. And finally, I was able to do this film. I am so thankful. I am a lot richer as an actor, as a filmmaker, as a film lover, mm -hmm. because I got to live through the process of making Salar. That much I know. <laughs> Just because uh, Prashant has cast me mm -hmm. in this, in such a role, in such a big film. Now, I'm assuming a lot of actors in Malayalam, mm -hmm. uh, like you, taught us to start dreaming 
uh, about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. A lot of actors in Malayalam will now start dreaming. You know, mm -hmm. okay, if Prithviraj can be can do this, mm -hmm. maybe one day, you know, a Prashant Neel or an SS Rajmouli might mm -hmm. cast someone from Malayalam <laughs> uh, for a main role in their film because we don't dream that way. Mm -hmm. We don't think we'll be able to get there. So that way, we are. I'm, I'm very lucky. Sir, I mean, yeah. what you're talking, sir? Your <laughs> <Yeah>. superstar and <laughs> Lucifer is <laughs> such a big ball, and part two, whole world is waiting. Don't sir, stop yeah. it. Yeah, thank you. Malayalam industry, small films. Sir, yeah. Malayalam, small, Telugu, no, no, small, no, no, gone, sir. No, it's no longer Malayalam or Tamil. That is true. That is true. There is nothing. Telugu really was very small before Bahubali. Yeah. Yeah. Where people are not Sir, bothering Kalapani, about the language. Sir, they did long before we all, uh, yeah. anyone thought. Yeah. Kalapani, we saw it like, like which, which state is this? Which language <laughs> yeah. is this? Kalapani was made yeah, 20 yeah. years back. Yes. Sir, this is the biggest industry always, the best technicians. Yeah. <laughs> is there something about the film that people, that the audience haven't watched till now, that you would tell me? Something that's <laughs> not been revealed so far. I think whatever, uh, I mean, uh, the trailer, whatever I wanted to communicate, the only thing that I didn't communicate was the drama. Mm. And uh, to put that in the trailer, it would, it would take me about eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't sell my movie uh, yeah. with, with that trailer, but yeah. uh, I think there is so much of drama mm. between the characters mm. and uh, everybody plays a very, very important uh, role in it. And uh, I don't know if I have been able to portray it with the trailer, but more than the scale and the design, you know, the outlook mm. of it being a big pan India movie and everything else, the biggest scale I have in my movie is mm. Prithvi sir. Mm. By far, mm -hmm. uh, so in a Prabhas movie, mm -hmm. the biggest uh, scale mm. that I have, the biggest emotion that I have, the biggest drama that I have, mm. that will all come with. Mm. Uh, Prithviraj Sukumaran. Sir, <laughs> what, is, what are you saying? And, Thanks, uh, sir. We are very, we are very, 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 very happy that he has been a part yes. of this. How do you design your guns? Whether it is a KG or two, tat, 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 <laughs> cigarette smoking gun, or whether it is uh, mm. the the big guarding guns on the Kansar gates that, uh. <laughs> that grrr, that turning and mm. pointing. So, how do you design your guns? Uh, Both were uh, necessities, sir. Uh -huh. Here it feels like. I'm trying to evolve with the guns. Mm -hmm. You know, it just feels like, okay, I've shown that gun now. I don't want to show something mm -hmm. which is there, uh, mm -hmm. you know, which is so small. I want a much bigger gun. Mm -hmm. But Kansar requires something mm -hmm. like that. Something and to guard it. Something to guard it. And mm -hmm. uh, there's a reason mm -hmm. why why uh, we put up such big guns. Uh, Jagapati Babugaru is playing uh, a character called Rajamannar. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says it. He mm. says it in a uh, in one particular point of the story as to why he needs mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. why a place like that needs mm -hmm. uh, such big walls and such big guns. Mm -hmm. So that becomes necessity of that. It mm -hmm. just looks flashy right now that you know I'm trying to, yeah. I'm just trying to show off, you no, know, yeah. trying to make bigger and bigger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the the background scores, uh, you use uh, for 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 the scenes how you break them, how you like uh, really go into silence and really blast the eardrums away. The way you use the music to elevate the uh, uh, scenes. H how do you get that? How do you work around the music? I mean, as you are writing, does some kind of music play in your mind or it is completely done after the shooting? How do you do it? Music is uh, something, I listen to a lot of OST mm. when I'm uh, uh, writing. I just, I just want to uh, stay away from the world. Mm -hmm. So I just put on my earphones and I'm listening uh, to the o OST and I think uh, the scenes write themselves. Sometimes when you listen to great music, mm -hmm. uh, Hans, Zimmerman, Hans Zimmerman is uh, mm -hmm. my favorite uh, okay. composer and uh, I think I, uh, so I, that I try to reflect that back over here mm -hmm. and uh, try to get that kind of a tempo. Mm -hmm. Basically I listen to the music for the tempo of that particular scene. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, Ravi Basur is mm -hmm. an absolute ascent yeah. for me in, in the sense that he's probably one of the few people in the world. I, I, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure uh, everybody will have their opinions on mm -hmm. others. He works on a piece mm -hmm. for three days mm -hmm. and after I listen to it, mm -hmm. he deletes it immediately and if I don't like it, he deletes it immediately and he throws it away. And he mm -hmm. says, let's work on another one. Mm -hmm. So that's, that gives you so much of choice. Mm -hmm. 
to choose the best music that yeah. I can put there. Yeah. And that's that's the reason it has worked for me all the way. Is there something else that you didn't tell anyone? <laughs> that there is something here. I'm not asking you to give the detail. Uh, yeah. uh, obviously, yeah. you you already look hassled. Like, <laughs> 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 what is this guy going to ask me next? So, uh, is there something else that I can look forward? Ending of the movie, sir, is uh, hmm. something that I'm. You know, you usually mm -hmm. uh, leave cliffhangers mm -hmm. for people to watch your next episode. Mm -hmm. So, for our next episode, mm -hmm. we are uh, leaving a small little cliffhanger okay. for uh, yeah. people to understand mm -hmm. better why they should come back the next time or not <laughs> come back the next time. <laughs> <laughs> so when when I made uh, Bahubali yeah, one, <laughs> uh, when we decided that it is going to come into two parts, yes. uh, what we thought was they will release within a span of uh, two months. <laughs> <laughs> that was the idea. <laughs> two months in a span of two months, yeah, we yeah. thought we will shoot the both the two You're parts about together. Bahubali. Bahubali. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we thought we'll release in yeah, two months, yeah. and we said maybe three months. Yeah. No, six months is an no, no, six months is an uh, good idea thing. Then by the time we release, we said <laughs> one year, <laughs> and we took two years. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So you With tell in us that perspective. Even we need when to know. I, when <laughs> I am watching know. Salat Pan, we need to know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want uh, I want one to do well. <laughs> and then of course, it's going to uh, doing well is a very uh, not at all the right word. It's going to be a blockbuster, breaking all the records. Thank right. you so much, sir. <laughs> Definitely. Biggest dilemma right now, absolutely right now, is that all the big films, especially uh, Prabhas films, all the family watches, first day, first show, not even first day, first show, the early morning shows we, we go and watch to all my family. That's, a, that's almost like a tradition. Now the biggest dilemma that I have now is like, <laughs> on the day of release, my wife is not there. She's in oh. Bangalore, <laughs> so I'm here. Uh, so she's coming by the evening. So there's that's the, the that's the to biggest wait. dilemma. <laughs> like, what should I do? Should family, I? Family, they need to see. Uh, together. Must morning. Yeah, should I, so should I go to Bangalore and watch? <laughs> <laughs> that won't be the early morning show. <laughs> that won't be with the whole family. Yeah. And I can't wait <laughs> until <laughs> evening. So that's the. That's the biggest dilemma I am facing Pooja right now, which I still, wait. which I still don't have an Kartik answer for. Pooja that. won't wait. Yeah, they, they won't wait. They will watch. They, they won't wait. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. They, they are backstabbers. They don't. They don't <laughs> wait. <laughs> they are teachers. They don't wait. <laughs> I think a lot of people will be happy if I don't watch because they can get that ticket. <laughs> there will be mad, mad rush at the. Uh, uh, at the box office. Thank you for doing this for Thank us. Thank you so much, yeah, sir. Thank pleasure. you for doing my, this for us. My, my, my I, can, I don't need to say this. <laughs> <laughs> I taught him how to direct, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs>